Hey guys, <clears throat> so for my first content video, I thought I would do a concealed carry video. And I just got out, or just got done running some errands, and I'm actually getting, about to get ready to go to court. So all this stuff's gotta come off anyway so that I can get into uh, proper court attire. And so what I'm wearing today, this is how I went out. It's just uh, a pair of cargo shorts and a t-shirt. So let's, uh, let's dig into it here real quick. All right, so this is how I go out, all right? Um, and the way I carry my firearm is I carry uh, appendix, and then I carry my uh, extra magazine and stuff on my support side. <clears throat> now, the reason why I like appendix, if I can demonstrate this, is one, it's a relatively fast draw stroke, and so, you know, it's uh, it's pretty quick. It's quick to access the gun. And the other reason why I like it is it's very discreet. Um, if I'm out and about and maybe I'm sensing a problem, you know, I can, I can access my, I've got a hand on my gun right now. And that's very discreet. Whereas if you're carrying on maybe your strong side hip or something, uh, you know, in order to access your gun, you're doing something that's very, in here, let me kind of run this up a little bit. You're doing something that this is obvious what you're doing. Okay. So, um, again, I, I really like uh, appendix carry for a bunch of reasons. If you're seated in a vehicle, <clears throat> it's very quick to access. You don't you don't have to worry about trying to, to come around, you know, the steering wheel and that kind of stuff. It just comes up and it's out. Uh, and again, it's it's very discreet. Now with my body type, <clears throat> carrying appendix works really well for me. If you don't have the body type to allow for appendix carry, then, um, you know, whatever. But this works really well for me. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the gun, so this is uh, Glock 19, and it's riding in a Raven Concealment Vanguard 2, which is obviously an inside the waistband holster. It's intended for, an <clears throat> and it's uh, intended for appendix carry, just like I carry it. Now you could certainly carry it back at you know three o'clock and that kind of stuff, and I occasionally will do that. You know, particularly if I'm going to be seated for a very long time or if I have to do utility type work, you know, if I'm working around the house or something like that, I'll put it back on my, my hip. It's just a little bit more comfortable back there, you know, bending over and stuff like that a lot. It just, it kind of gets it out of the way. So, all right. Uh, like I said, uh, Glock 19 in a Raven Vanguard and we'll talk about the Glock first. So, <clears throat> just kind of start start with the grip with my Glock 19 I have reduced the grip I removed the finger guards and retextured the frame as you can see um, don't recommend that you do this at home if you want something like this done send your fire to a competent professional it would be very easy to permanently mess your gun up potentially cause problems to where you could get injured if you were shooting and that kind of thing one of the other things that I've done is uh, stippled in some reference points here on the, uh, on the frame, and that's on both sides of the gun, okay? And as well as on the bottom of the trigger guard. And the reason for the, that is I use a thumbs forward shooting grip. And so, here, let me, uh, so having that, those reference points are, are just kind of nice. Also along the, the bottom of the trigger guard, it just, uh, just gives a little bit more bite, a little bit more control when I'm shooting okay uh next night sights these are just Tri trigicon three dot night sights and i've added a little piece of skateboard tape here on the top of the slide if i'm doing one hand manipulations uh you know trying to like run off my pants or something like that this just gives uh this just gives the slide a little bit more bite so there's that. I think that's all there is with that. Other than, you know, than the sights and the, the grip, this is just a stock Glock 19. So there's that. Next, uh, spare ammunition. And I just carry a, a Glock 19 magazine. And having an extra magazine is very important. So there is the issue of you know, more ammunition, but you also have to consider malfunctions. So if your pistol suffers a double feed, typically the battery of arms is to strip the magazine out, let it fall to the ground, clear your malfunction, 
and then uh, reload your gun. So if you've stripped your magazine out and you let it fall to the ground, once you get your malfunction cleared out, what do you do? Do you, you know, if you only have one magazine, your choices are either to not have a gun or you're going to the ground to try to find that magazine. So, you know, carrying a, an additional magazine is more than just more ammunition. It really doesn't matter how high capacity the magazine in your gun is, you need to have a, an additional magazine, loaded magazine. Okay, um, so there's that. Also, on my belt is a this is a Spartan Inyo and it's just a small fixed blade knife and here in just a minute i'll uh you know i'll strip the my magazine pouch and stuff off and you'll see how i carry this but uh there's that like i said just a small fixed blade knife and lastly uh leatherman wingman just a small you know utility tool it's got standard leatherman stuff on it um, and so there's that. With these wingmans, uh, I don't know if there's other Leathermans that do this, but this one has a pocket clip on it. Just makes it nice. So, and then you know, other than that, I carry wallet, car keys, and stuff like that as appropriate. So we'll talk about uh, the magazine pouch. So this is a. Raven concealment magazine pouch, and then this is the sheet that came with the Spartan in yo, and uh, they're just made it up. So there's that. I'll, you know what, I'll stick, stick the magazine and knife back in here. So there, that's how that rides on my belt. Uh, obviously, uh, when it's on my belt, you know, it, uh, there it is. So black on black, I realize it's not contrasting very well, but I, I like to run this back on my side a little bit. You know, my arm hanging down just kind of helps to, to conceal any printing that, that might occur. <clears throat> but uh, there it is. It's relatively low profile and it works pretty well. So, And then my belt, uh, this is an Ares Gear Ranger belt. And this is sort of a dedicated gun belt. And as you can see, it supports its own weight. Uh, there's <clears throat> other types of belts out there that are similar in function to this, you know uh, Galco and Crossbreed make leather type belts if you know you don't want to wear Nylon and then I'm sure there's other companies that make nylon belts as well. You can custom order stuff, but uh, Really really like this belt for a long time. I just carried standard belts and when I found the you know like the Aries gear belts and stuff like that I, I really liked them and so it really does make carrying a little bit more comfortable. It's not a gimmick or anything like that. So uh, that's my concealed carry system. I know I didn't like really review anything. I just wanted to, to talk about my system and how I carry like, you know, as you see, I'm dressed pretty light. I don't have any button up shirts or anything like that. Uh, but my system works for me. It's a very minimalist system. Like I said, uh, other than the stuff that you saw me take out of my, you know, take out, I carry a wallet and car keys and that's it if i'm going to be out after dark then i'll typically put a flashlight in my pocket you know maybe it'll be something like this uh stream light this is an e1e it's an executive elite uh stream light this is a surefire uh not a stream light i i'm sorry and and as i said it is an executive elite and so i'll just throw this in my pocket if i'm going to be out after dark that kind of thing uh i've also got a truck bag with a couple different lights and that kind of thing. So depending on the situation, I can kind of up my lighting choices as I see fit. So there it is. Other than that, I don't carry anything else in my pockets. I don't like having stuff in my pockets. Just a personal opinion of mine. So uh, there it is, there's my system. I appreciate you guys watching. I know that I, I told you guys I would end my videos with a quote, and so I will. And I like this one. It's uh, so simple gear and a dark, ill-intentioned heart will save the day. So I appreciate you guys watching and uh, feel free to leave your comments and stuff like that below.